Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I, guys, I'm, I was just talking with Laura, and I'm like, I almost, I almost didn't make it on, guys. It was just crazy because it's been, it's been just that kind of a, a day today. And um, uh, I'll tell you all about Laura in a second. And I'm gonna, um, oops, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, I'm going to get rid of that background behind us, so. It's not distracting. There we go. And um, thanks, guys, for being here. Um, hello, Irma. Good to see you. And guys, come on in. Say hello. Maria, blessings to you as well. Thank you for being here. Um, so I have to tell you, today we're talking about nurturing your creativity. And if there's anybody <laughs> that can put the creativity crown on, it is Laura. It is Laura. And it's so funny because I've known Laura, God, Laura, it's been what, since like 97, 98. Yeah. yeah. We were doing it, our shamanic work. I know yeah. it's been crazy, crazy. Yeah. And um, so for those of you who don't know, Laura has been my friend for this long of a time. <laughs> and we met at a retreat at one of our teachers um, retreat. And I think the door is going to, I'm just going to let you guys know that um, I did order food. <laughs> so if you hear me going, Laura, take it away. That means that my food's here. Don't worry. It's all good. Um, but I'm just letting you guys know. You should see, I even bought a special little ring light. For oh, tonight. yeah. That's a good um, idea. Yeah. Let me, uh, let's say hello to everybody. And then we'll, we'll, uh, I've been up since three o'clock this morning, you guys. It's crazy. So, um, Debbie, hello, Debbie. Thanks for being here. Beth, hello. Priscilla, our moderator. Hello. Thank you for being here. Moderator and friend. What am I just saying, moderator? Uh, Kathy, hello. Thank you for being here, my friend. Um, Corey, hello. Thank you for being here. Isn't that a beautiful colleague, Laura? Oh, yeah. I just, yeah. beautiful. Um, am I pronouncing your name correctly? Relly. Relly, hello. And Christina, hello, thank you. Many of you are from, Laura's gonna laugh if I, as soon as I tell her, many of you are from TikTok. So thank you for hopping over for, yeah. And Doris, right. hello. Christina, hello, thanks guys for watching. Um, and, oh good, I pronounced your name correctly. Thank you so much. Good. So Laura and I did this um, shamanic retreat kind of thing. Laura has been studying with, you were with Jose Stevens. You were with um, Oscar Nito Quesada. Uh, yes, John Perkins. John Perkins. I went to Ecuador with John. I went, yeah, yeah South America with Oscar. And yeah, it's just You've been done a all over. It's been and a you guys, her, her traditional job is um, she's a registered pharmacist. Yeah. So Laura does all this stuff. I, I tell you, Laura made me this beautiful wooden bowl. Oh. And um, it was from uh, Oak and I still have it. And it's, um, so she makes wooden bowl things. She makes right. stained glass. Look what's behind her on the, her wall. You guys, she is coming out with her own Oracle cards. Yeah. So I'm so excited for this. I am and too. They're I, as I, critters as we talk. Otherwise we could have done uh, readings. Maybe done next time, right. then we can do. Are they gonna be on Amazon? Laura, they're going to be through um, your through your I'm website. Not sure, whether it'll just be on my website or, or Amazon, but um, yeah, it's going to be. I'll let you know. Okay, great. Yeah. So tell everybody how did you how yeah. do you nur how do you nurture your creativity? How do you personally do it? Because you are just so creative in so many different things. Yeah, well, it's funny because. I never thought I was a creative. I mean, I was straight lace, science and math, science. And there's no creativity. In Keep science. telling everybody, hang on. There's no creativity in science and math and healthcare. I mean, you, there were protocols to follow and it was pretty, pretty strict, but I always had this creative calling. I wanted to make something. I love working with my hands and when you rub your hands together, your, your hand chakras, all the energy comes from the heart, across the shoulders, down the arms, and it comes right through the hands. 
and I still hear you, Laura. It's all good. Yeah, so I it's and it's not always and so when people I also do Akashic record readings and people will always ask me, well, what's my sole purpose? And most of the time the records won't tell you because it changes every day. Your purpose might today might be um you know, helping, you know, just helping somebody um, right. and, it, and it lifts their spirits and that's it. You know, I mean, people don't think they have to have this huge, I have to be a Amazon number one bestseller. I got to do this. You know, that's my, you know, that's my purpose. But when you really live a soul filled life, it's the little things. So with, for right. my creativity now, Never in a million years would I think I would be publishing an Oracle deck. And it's actually called, it's an attunement deck. So it's the sacred attunement. Cool. Yeah. I love, Laura, I've been so excited. So, but here's, here's my convoluted path. And this is just on cards. I started out pasting <laughs> all of my photos that I took. Of things that I've made, I did some glass blowing. So here's my raise them up, raise them up orb. a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So like, there's my orb that that I that I did glass blowing. I um, you know, I I I did some other, I did some fused glass. Mm. Yeah, Super just little cool. things. And so all I did was paste them on, on cardstock. You know, that's all I did. And then I thought, okay, what am I going to do with this? Then all of a sudden, something else came in. And, and that's when spirit hits you. That the creative juice hits you. And you don't know where it came from. Then you know spirit's talking to you. Right. That's, when, right. that's when your intuition is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I made myself a, a nutrition deck. And this is just for me. Like vitamins. Um, energy production, water. So if I wasn't feeling like up, up to snuff, I pick one and I'm like, oh, vegetables. I should eat more vegetables. Why <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, it didn't get it didn't go anywhere outside of my office. And then I started to get like, oh, I'm starting to get a little bit more confidence. Spirit starts talking to me a little a little bit more. And I create I created a personal deck. So this mm. is my um, ancient wisdom and the ancient mysteries, um, telling your story. So it's it was more of an inward, sure, um, uh, messaging, and that's how. And then, so this is really kind of like my fourth deck, and this is where my. Uh, so I took an art class, and actually, this is my very first. Um, and this, these are all my my paintings. Okay. And, and I took this and that was my very first, my very first piece that I did. And I thought, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Color. It's, it's the color. It's the motion. It's the energy behind it. And it's, it's me. It came through my hands and on, onto the paper. And that, my definitely, Kathleen, yeah, this I, is very talented. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. Yes, very well, much. so are you. So are you. Um, we all are. It's just, yep. just tapping into it. Um, my deck's a little different because I have my, instead of typing the, the title, I hand wrote everything. So I wanted my energy in the deck. Sure. That's so they, amazing, Laura. So, so this, but it, it's, it's in print. <sighs> but that's, that's, that's COVID, everything is like, everything. Yeah, I know. But guys, I want everyone to listen to what Laura said. She had an idea. She was just messing around, just like, hey, this is for me. And then it took the next step. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, maybe I should do it this way. And took a next step. It is, and this is the piece that everybody needs to know. With yeah. creativity, your heart has to be in it. Yeah. It's so important for your heart. And Laura, honestly, everything that you do, I mean, you know, guys, I've been to Laura's house when she was back in the Chicago <laughs> suburbs. And I mean, we're talking pristine stuff. I mean, everything was like, first of all, spotless. And Laura's the one, Laura's the one that taught me how to make um, this amazing, it's so easy. 
It's like shredded chicken and uh, stuffing. And it was so good. And you bake it. And it was like, I don't know what to do or with the potluck people. And she's like, yeah, try this recipe. But yeah. that's what I mean. Everything is, yeah, it's trial and error. Yeah. And you got it to where, you know, it felt good, right? Like you were yeah. doing this and it was your energy. Yeah. And spirit will only give you the information that you need to know at the time. Mm. So they're not going to say like how, how my little path was convoluted with four different decks. You know right. what I mean? Basically four different. And like spirit was, you know, they're, they're, they're not going to say, you're going to have this attunement deck. I'm like, what's, what's an attunement? Yeah. You know, no, they, they give you exactly what, what you need to do. Yeah. So I would be interested if Elias, can you ask, I can't see anybody. Oh, but... Laura, go to, go to comments, go to comments and oh, you can see people's, okay. there it is. Oh, there like, so, 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 um, Danya saying oh, hello. Hey. Yeah, go Carrie ahead. saying hello. Um, Put in, so, um, Kathy says she followed spirit with no question. Yeah. Oh, Mary Coco McCormick. And so, Deb Davis says, I know that when I have, a, um, and to with have an intuition, but I don't quite know when I've crossed it. But once I get there, I know I've taken the wrong path. Yeah. But I also am artistic and I do get the energy that vote that motivates me. So true. Hi, Sister Sledge. Um, so it's important. It's really important. Yeah. Go ahead. I, I cut you off. No, I was um, just going to say, so how many people now are working on a creative project? Put yeah. that in the chat. If, if anybody's, you know, working, we can talk about it or, you know, help you along with, with something like that. And Eliza, I know you asked me, what, what do I do with, if I'm blocked? Yeah. Because there's yeah. a lot of times that I'm blocked or you can be, you know, people working on a project that, that are blocked. Um, I watch cartoons. It's kind of mindless, but they're yeah. funny and they're yeah. witty and it's quick. Or right. I'll watch some kind of goofy sitcom that I haven't seen. In, in, but it's like, and it just takes me out. It just like relaxes me. It takes me out. And I don't have to, I don't have to think or worry about it. You know, a lot of people might, um, you know, go into nature, sit in nature, or go for a walk. Um, a lot of times, everyone will probably laugh, but no, go ahead. I, I iron. So do I, Laura. I iron and Very I wash dishes. It's, it's, it's a weird sensation because it's meditative, but yep. there's action involved. Yeah, I love to iron. And it opens me up. And I don't put music on or anything. Okay. I just, I just, I'll iron, I'll, you know, I'll iron anything. Send, send me Whenever, your... when I do my retreats and I'm doing a new retreat, yep. I will um, iron my shirts and the ideas just come one, two, three. Because it's that, it's that just repetitive yeah. thing. And then it feels good to get the creases out, everybody. And you get yeah. there and you sit there and go like this, and it's really good. Now, um, Deb says, yes, she's working on creativity. Con Connie, you guys, Connie is very creative. Connie works with leather uh, oh, and nice. suede. Um, yeah. She has made, she's made Oracle, um, Oracle card holders. Oh, nice. And then she puts a little um, crystal on it. Oh. Um, I don't have it with me because obviously right now, guys, I'm in Florida. Tomorrow I'm going to the Bahamas. But um, for the retreat. Um, and Terry says, I love writing, painting, and drawing. I haven't done any of it lately, but need to. Yes, it's so yeah. important. Because spirit talks to us mm -hmm. through our creativity. Spirit talks to us. So think about it, everybody. Some of you, we've talked about this before about automatic writing or writing to angels or whatever that's a creative process you are tapping into a piece of you that that could be dormant but i mean let me tell you and laura knows this i can't draw for caca i it's like a circle and a couple lines and we're done you yeah. know um but that doesn't mean that my creativity is drawing my creativity is um coming up with retreats and coming up with ideas right. and thoughts or workshops or whatever it is. Yeah. I'm not, if y'all saw what I saw, what I did with pottery, 
you would laugh. But I mean, it's not, that's not my thing. It's not my thing. Yeah. But we all have talent. Go ahead, Laura. I'm just going to grab something. Yeah. And, and there's a difference between being an artist, like a formal artist, and being a creative. Everybody's a creative. You ask a, a, a kindergartner, a five-year-old, they have no qualms. They will be drawing, they will be coloring, and the colors are going to be, you know, like a pink cow and this, and they just love that. You know, and then they get into the teenage years and, you know, all that is shut down. You get into the adult years. You know, you ask a 30 or 40 year old in the business world, 90, 97% of the time um, they've done studies that their creativity has shut down because of criticism and, and, and competition. I was going to say, and the competition piece. Yeah. Totally. One of the things that I do is I do not, um, I mean, I try to stay off as best I can, like some of the social media sites, mm -hmm. um, just because I, I don't want, I that's not my energy. I want my energy to come out. I don't right, want to say, right. oh, I should be doing this. I'm like, oh, I think I can do this, but I can change it to this. I'm like, no, I want my, my, you know, me to come, my energy to come out. Because who do we compete with? The only person that we compete with is ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So the other, so here's, you know, like that convoluted path, the convoluted path, you know, so a woman in one of my, um, uh, spirit women's groups are, are spirit mm -hmm. I get this email from her and she said she's writing, a, she's on her third book of feng shui and mm -hmm. um, she's in England. And, you know, feng shui has those baguas, like the nine parts of, right. uh, yes. you know, of, of the entire bagua. And she said, I want something different. Can you create a brand new bagua? Wow, Laura. And I saw the promo. So I, I, I did what at first I thought. I'm not creating. Here you go. It's, right. it's that mindset. You got to get rid of that chatter, that monkey mind. And it's like, I'm not go like, who am I? You know, and then, um, you know, like to do this creative piece for a book, for a published book. Right. And, you know, and then why not me? So that, I had to clear right, yeah. all of that and just sit and I didn't even look at other pictures of what people did with the Baguas and the wealth corner and the relationship corner. I'm like, okay, I just, and boy, did it turn out nice. Um, awesome. But again, it's kind of like that, that those little pieces of that convoluted and, and that was out of the blue. So, you know, that spirit spirits talking to you. You know, with something like this, and guys, for for Laura to know because this this helps when we're we're talking with you. Hi, Janice. Thank you for being here. And Diane Santucci. Hello, Diane is also um, a psychic, and she does a lot of her um, readings just through writing. So, guys, mm -hmm. Diane will be on. I mentioned it before. Diane will be on May seventh. Priscilla, can you put that up there for Diane so people to know? Uh, Jenny, good to see you. Thank you for being here. So how many of you, raise your hand or just say yes, how many of you are perfectionists? How many of you are perfectionists? Because what is stopping you from your creativity is the word that it has to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And... Hey, Beatrice. Hope, good to see you. Thank you for being here. Terry says yes. Hi, Jody. Jody says yes. I love that uh, Kung Fu fu uh, Hui. I remember that from our cartoon, like when we were kids. <laughs> love that, Jody. Um, so when we have that perfection piece, mm -hmm. we're not... Um, Shonda says nope. <laughs> um, but it is... It is an interesting thing that we will stop ourselves because 
we're competing with somebody else mm -hmm. and then not thinking that we're good enough. Mm -hmm. And then it's gotta be perfect. And then those of you that are procrastinators, raise your hand. Um, <laughs> and then it never gets done. And then we beat ourselves up that it's like, ah, Laura did the Oracle cards. Well, I wanted to do Oracle cards and I, how come she, blah, 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 blah. and then we go into that whole thing. Yeah. You know, we have to, we have to acknowledge others and be like this. Oh my God, Laura made Oracle cards. I'm so excited for her. I can't wait till I get the courage to do the same thing. Yeah. It's aligning yourself with that energy. And I think it's beautiful that you had your handwriting in there, Laura. I think it's yeah. Yeah. totally, totally amazing. Yeah. Totally amazing. Yeah. Um, Corey is a procrastinating. Yep. I get it. I get it. Yeah. So nurturing it is, would you say, Laura, that nurturing our creativity is really letting go of the shoulda, coulda, woulda? Yeah. And, and it's building the relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. building the relationship with, with your creative self. True. Very true. No. And you work on it. Like it just comes through you. It just is like, it's an, it's like chewing gum for you mm -hmm. in a sense. And, and not saying that, you know, Laura doesn't make a mistake or this wasn't, I'm That's just saying that she works at it. And here's the bigger question. I like this question. <laughs> Would you say that more of your creative abilities or more of your in touch with your creative self came through since you've been doing uh, Akashic Records? Oh, definitely. I I'll, a lot, many times I'll just open my records and um, I'll, I'll just ask for creative um like an influx to come down, like, like a download. Okay. Down. Um, can you, can you tell people a little bit about your Akashic record background while I grab a bite of sandwich? Go ahead. Oh, sure. 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 Well, think of the Akashic records, like, um, it's, it's kind of like the, the universal library. Everybody has their own record. So when we tap into your record, we tap into your, this is the record of your soul. So we tap into and open up your possibilities, your probabilities, your past lives, um, you know, your future lives, your gifts and talents, um, relationships, career, um, money, wealth, consciousness. All of that is held within the Akasha. Now, people usually um, will ask about, you know, I was going to say kind of like mundane things. Like, well, you know, that, that's how they, the readings usually start. And then all of a sudden it goes deeper and deeper until we find, until you get the root cause of what's, of what's really happening. You know, people, you know, say, well, you know, I'm not making any money or, you know, blah, 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 blah. Money's usually never the issue. There's usually mm -hmm. something, something, you know, you go and dig, dig, dig. And you find maybe it's these limiting beliefs that you had mm. when you were four years old. And then we can clear that in the records. Now, you studied with Linda how? I studied with um, um, Elena. Elena, uh, and right. then I studied with um, Linda Howe. I studied with um, Jennifer Longmore. Um, so yeah, I, I tried to, and each one had a different school. I'll I'll just say like a school. Sure. And everybody has their own strengths. Right. So um, that's what I, I like. You know, I like all of that. And so, I like that you com yeah. that you combine that all together. And you guys, I have to tell you this. Um, hi, Lainey. Thank you for being here. I'm still on the trip. I just got here. I just got to Florida. Tomorrow is the Bahamas retreat, but I had to get here a day early because I would never make the airplane from Washington. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you guys, I had an Akashic record reading with Laura. And Laura did not know that I wanted to move to the Pacific Northwest. And she said, I don't know, Elias. I just, the records are telling me that 
Pacific Northwest is for you. Like I'm seeing Oregon. <laughs> and I said, really? And she's like, yeah, like that kind of thing. She's like, you got to have the mountains and the water. I'm like, well, Laura, uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's really, it, it's fascinating. And I think that when we tap into spirit, yeah. when we say yes to the universe, the universe says yes back. And yeah. however yeah. you do it, you don't have to be an Akashic Record reader. But when you say yes, when you sign up with that yes, I think we get exactly what we need. Mm -hmm. Not always what we think we want, but right. what we need. And that important part helps us on our journey and then ask for it. Right. Um, God, universe, spirit, I'd like to be more creative. What is my purpose? Help mm -hmm. me to find my creative energy. Show mm -hmm. me, guide me along the way. Bring teachers in. Um, that I resonate with, yeah. make people come to me that are resonate at my level or higher. Yeah. And I think, you know, and, and Laura, I, because I know you, you do this, yeah. you know, you do it subconsciously, consciously, but you do yeah. it. And I still work with, I still work with um, like spiritual directors, spiritual teachers, mm -hmm. you know, because it, it is it keeping that vibration high, that frequency right. high. It yeah. always that's always done. You did a summit, um, and I was so privileged to be on that summit. That was that was a lot of fun. You had a lot of good people. Yeah, that and summit. that was on yeah spirituality, you know, and creativity. And that's why I'm like, we gotta have Laura about nurturing your creativity. And everybody, it's so funny because all of the speak, like some of the, I mean, the big takeaways were, um, everybody would say, don't compare. It's, it's almost like, and the, and these were a lot of the, especially a lot of the painters, people that painted or had that type of an artistic slant to things, um, or, or they, you know, they would just start creating. They're like that, that, that'll kill you. That'll just kill it. When you, when you start comparing yourself, it's like, no, it's. It's the unique you hit that has to come out. Can you see Kathy's question, Laura? Yes, yes, I do teach the Akashic Records, and I'm, I'm, I'll post all of that. Um, it's going to be posted on my um, uh, website too. And there's Laura's website, yeah. LittleAspenStudios.com. Thanks, Priscilla. Yeah. Thank um, you. Does anybody have questions for Laura? I mean, I, I'm so excited. Guys, look at the cards behind her. Yeah. That's going to be her Oracle deck. I can't wait. Yeah. Sign me up, Laura. Sign me up well, because I am here, so excited. Here's my little path that I'm following, the little breadcrumbs, um, like on my path. And I, I got a very clear message that said, do um, once, the, once the cards are, are done and published, um, offer like a two card reading hmm. that I can, what I'd like to do is have these, you know, someone will ask like a question or something and I'll, I'll do a two card pull and I would love to like mail them the cards so, oh, yeah, so they can nice. have that. That's yeah. nice. Well, Laura, um, when they come, when they come out, come back on and yeah. we'll, we'll play with them. They'll be fine. Yeah. Um, Beatrice is saying it's beautiful. Um, I came in a little late. Can you explain why are these different? Great question, Lainey. Very great question. Um, so, uh, oh, you're getting a lot of questions. Um, uh -huh. I'll look at Kathy. You have the best people on. Guys, I only have people on that I believe in that have the authenticity, that have the integrity. I love the people that I have on and I want to bring them to you because, again, there is no competition. It is growing the community is what I've always believed in. Laura's always believed in that. Yeah. It's it's really doing that. And Lainey, I'll, I'll sum it up. Laura um, made these. Um, she painted these pictures. The writing that you see, the handwriting, that's Laura's handwriting. So it's her energy. It's her, her soul in that, yeah. uh, her heart in that. And um, she did have a process. She 
made a couple different cards about health and about um, I'm really keeping this like, you know, giving you the cliff note version. Um, and uh, and then she came up with some other pictures. She put it on stock paper and then she the thought came in, do these. And these are they're beautiful. That blue green one, Laura, um, oh, is yeah. Um, yeah, that one. Yeah. Just amazing. That's humility. Oh, love it. It love kind it. of like sets it just sets it. Yeah. Um Let's see. Let me see what people are saying. Um, Irma says, how do we get an Akashic record reading? Oh, you could, they could just email me to littleaspenstudios at gmail.com or go on my web, yeah. go on the website too. So yeah. Um, and then uh, Cindy says, me too. I just got on. Uh, awesome, Cindy. Thank you for uh, Guys, the, my new TikTok friends, thank you so much for coming on. You know, Laura, TikTok is like. <laughs> I have no idea. So it's crazy, but in a good way. Um, now, my friend um, uh, Patricia Cobo, she does soul paintings mm -hmm. and she was artistic, just self-taught. And um, and she started drawing um, Archangel wings, angel wow. wings. Mm -hmm. So Kathy says she's getting her Archangel yeah. Michael wings. Tomorrow. I saw them, Kathy. I saw that. It's beautiful. Um, Corey says gorgeous cards. Um I'm into getting when ready. Okay, good, good, good. Lainey said, that's amazing. Thank you. Uh, littleaspenstudios at gmail.com. Thank you. Um, Gina says, I love you on TikTok. <laughs> Thank you. It goes so fast. It's crazy. <laughs> Try doing a mediumship, Laura, on TikTok. When all these things are coming up like this, and, you know, it's just crazy. Um, hello from Belize. Thank you for being here again. Uh, Jody says, also here from TikTok, uh, Porcupineable. Thank you, Jody. Um, Priscilla says, here's the little aspenstudio.com. Um, so, guys, questions for Laura. Questions for Laura. Oh, good one. What does Akashic mean? Akasha, it, Akashic is from the word Akasha, which is, a, it, which is Sanskrit, mm -hmm. which is... Um, it's like the finest material in the ethers um, since the beginning of time. It's referred to you guys in the Bible. There is, oh, they yeah. do there's, refer to. There's um, many references. Yeah. To it. And don't they call it the, 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 the yeah. book of knowledge or something? Um, yes. It, it can be called the yeah. book of knowledge. It's, it's also um, like part of the tree of life and it's. it's tree, right. Yeah. It's, it's, you can feel an energy Universal. shift. Yeah. It's not a psychic reading, you guys. It, yeah. It's, it's different. It's, it's on a soul level. Yeah. It's very and different. It's, it's, they're, it, they're life changing. They're, they're just life changing. Yeah. Um, Kathy wants to know how long is the reading? They're usually an hour. They're usually 60 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And guys, again, if you're interested, um, email Laura, littleaspenstudios at gmail.com or uh, go to her website and uh, take a look. So we're talking, um, hey there, Elizabeth. Good to see you, my friend. So good to see you. Um, nurturing, guys, so think about it. We, this is what we've been talking about, Laura. February's, um, February's theme was love. Mm -hmm. um, March's theme was renewal. Mm -hmm. April's is nurturing and May's theme is grow. Mm, okay. So think about all those things that I just said, you guys, you have to love, you have to renew, you have to nurture yeah. and grow. Yeah. And those things are what creativity is about. Yeah. And that's why I wanted to end um, our month of nurturing with Laura, because it really brings it all together as we go into wow. May's theme, which is grow. And, yeah. um, oh, you have a blog. Um, thank you. Um, and there's the blog too. Uh, Priscilla says, I read some of your blog. You explain a lot of the uh, Akashic records there. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Um, questions for Laura, guys. Any questions? And if anybody wonders, I am drinking yeah, you know, green tea. Green tea, yeah. Yes. Um, and just for the the procrastinators out there too, or yeah. maybe some of the creative, 
just think, can I get to 90%? If I can get to, you know, like plus or minus 90%, I don't have to be at 100%. I don't have to, you know, and then put it out there. Hmm. I just did a... Um, I mean, it, I mean, this was like, for me, it was, it was a big deal. I just created a journal and it's published on Amazon and it's called the intention notebook for the wise woman. It's a hundred pages. And, um, everybody said, why do you have a notebook? It's supposed to be a journal. I'm, no, I, I didn't want a journal. That That's not what my, my intention was. And they're like, ah, no, you're never going to sell it because it doesn't, you know, how many, you know, how it's, it's just, it's supposed to be a journal and you have to get all these SEO words in there. And, you know, and I'm like, no, mine's, it's just going to be organic. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, I got it. It's, it, it's on Amazon now. So that, Laura, yeah. so good, good, good. Yeah. It's yeah. And um, I thought, well, I'm just going to throw it out there and, you know, and see what happens. And I'm, I was at 90%. I wasn't interested, you know, I'm like, I'm going to see. I'm just going to, yeah. you know. So anyway, and it's the, called yeah, the intention, what's, yeah, the intention notebook for the wise woman. I love so that. There's some prompts in Priscilla there. just said, what's it called on Amazon? Yeah, so um, can I type in here? Or no, you can. Um, you can tell Priscilla and oh. she can type it. Priscilla's um, intention journal notebook, intention notebook for the wise woman. So then I thought, okay, I'm, you know, then I, I get this big, ha, ah. you know, it's like, ha, ah. it's like spirits, like, okay. And then as soon as you get the, huh, which is what you're doing is creating a void. Mm -hmm. Universe does not like voids. Mm -hmm. You always get something filled in. So mm -hmm. be very careful <laughs> when you start creating your yes. voids because yes. that, this is the expansion. This is the, you know, you're nurturing that creative, that creativity wants to go and go and go. So now I'm going to do something with um, something about a soul led life, like a, a journal for the soul led life. You know, so again, it's it's those little things that spirit kind of says, okay, you know, hey, you did pretty good with this one, or this is okay, you know, mm -hmm. and you don't have to be a hundred percent; you'd be ninety percent, eighty percent. You know, people, right. but get and, it out, and, there. get your work and out. That's there. the point. Get it out yeah. there. Get it out there. Uh, yeah. Priscilla, but intention notebook for the wise woman. Yeah. Cindy says, "Well, you sold me. I'm going to find and buy." <laughs> Thanks, Cindy. Let me Thank know. You. Let me know what, what you would like changed or whatever, you know, on there. Here's that. Um, Kathy would like to know how many questions can we ask in a reading? Um, normally I say in a reading, um, you know, usually people target four to five questions. Sometimes we get through one, but that's the one that spirit said, hey, this is one you got to look at. Sometimes we get through five in 20 minutes. Then all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden it, you know, it's like, oh, I, you know what? I had another one. And that's, that's, that's the core. That's the heart. Would you say, would you say, just so people know, because with you, when I said, Laura, I, uh, I need an Akashic Record reading and I don't have anything in particular. I wanted to see what would come up. Mm -hmm. Would you say that kind of is the best way to see what um, what happens? Hi, Jody, another Jody. Um, Jody's got the best smile, you guys. If you look at her, she's got the best smile, and she's got the best smile on TikTok too. Um, but what are questions that are common? Well, you know, what's your life purpose? What's mm -hmm. my soul purpose? Um, where shall I move? What should I do for a job? Mm -hmm. You know, all those things. And and what I tell them on TikTok, Laura, you're going to love this. Because Laura's Laura and I have, there's many similarities in, in our personality. We're like, look, you know, because everybody on TikTok, and thank you guys for always following, but they're going to hear this till I'm blue in the face when they're like, well, I get married. And you know, Laura, what I say now is like, I don't know. Do you want to? 
Yeah. Because well, it's see, the action step. They that, have, and what's the, blocking me from getting married? Because the records will look at possibilities and probabilities for your mm-hmm. highest timeline. Mm. The records, the records are neutral. The, the, I mean, the, the, the universe, you know, the quantum field is pretty neutral. Right. You know, it's like, okay, you know, you're down here leading this human life and you have to have these experiences in your little meat bag that, you know, we as humans are like these little meat bags and, you know, and just kind of walking around. You think of it that way, it's pretty neutral. <laughs> yes, that's good. That's good, Laura. Think ah. of it, <laughs> I, you know, you think of it that way, but, you know, and that's like, just, just like, like how people die. It's like, okay. oh, oh, I've lived so many lifetimes before. I've had past lives, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know what? I think this is the year I'm going to get cancer and I'm going to see, I'm going to, I'm going to experience that so I can have that human experience this lifetime. I'm going to die in my sleep. Okay. So this, that's the agreement that you made. Okay. Before I'm going to get you came in, guys. Yeah. Exactly. All of this right. is, you know, that you, that you came in. So you're going to have these experiences. Lainey says, we know, no, yes or no questions. I know. I'm going to say it till I'm blue in the face. Uh, Danya says, um, spiritual, spiritual being, <laughs> spiritual being in a meat, a meat bag body. I love, I know. Laura comes up with some great ones, you guys. Really, truly. Okay. Real quick, real quick. This is my favorite Laura story. It's my favorite story. It, and she probably knows which one I'm going to say. So Laura's in the Amazon jungle. As she, <laughs> she's in the Amazon jungle. And um, is it okay that I tell oh, her your, your yeah. um, spirit name? Okay. Yeah. So um, she's working with um, indigenous people mm-hmm. and um, they were painting animal faces on people. And they, they told Laura that, you know, her spirit animal is a puma. Yeah. And we used to call her puma um, at a, like in a, at the retreats and stuff. Anyway. So, and Laura was always like, she was the fire keeper. She was yeah. like the best gosh darn fire keeper ever, really, truly guys. Um, and so Laura says, and there I am, you know, with John Perkins. And then we're doing this thing and they dip this, this pine needles in like this, like medicine, if you will. Yeah. And there's Laura topless and they're smacking her way. She's like, I paid money for this for people to smack me. Oh, and they're was- rolling an egg on, around her and just <laughs> she's like, I paid money for this. That's why I tell that's why I tell people, Laura, I, I will not do ayahuasca. I'm like, look, I hate throwing up. Oh, yeah. Why am I gonna spend money to get a vision by puking and crapping possibly in my pants? No. And you know, I'll save the money and ask Spirit for a Vision oh. on my own without doing ayahuasca. Yeah. Not that I'm not dissing the ayahuasca people. Just for me personally, I don't need to be in the jungle. I don't need to be in the jungle puking and pooping at the same time out of both ends. No, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, Angie. Hi, Angie. Okay, no problem. No problem. Uh, let's see. Jody says, thank you. Uh, Jody gives the eye roll. I know it's funny. It's funny. So Laura, could you do me just one favor? How many, how many cards are in your deck? Uh, 44 cards. Mm. Okay. And they're all, ori- yes. Yeah, so they are all original paintings. Um, do you, did you number them? Do you have no. them each numbered? Oh, no, because okay. I do not have a book that goes with this, which is oh, an, another, um, renegade maybe <laughs> i like it though but you know i like it it's because and that's why i call it called it the sacred attunement deck because we have all of that inside of us mm-hmm. you don't have to go to a book and say you know oh you know the mouse mean you know right, exactly. animal medicine yeah. mouse might mean you know like this 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 and this book or this this what does it mean to you? Yes. Yes. You know? Say what I say, people. Yes. And what does it mean to you? Right. Like, 
like the cards, I'll, I have, you know, I kind of have my mocked up, my little version. I'll, I'll, I'll pick a card for you, Elias, and we'll see okay, thanks. how this is, or someone else, if anybody wants a, a card. How about for everybody? This would be for everyone. Okay. Just tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. Top or bottom? Uh, let's do top. Okay. Oh, it's in, so it's nourish. Oh, good. Nur very similar to nurture. Yes. Nur and so it's nourish your body, spirit, and imagination as part of your daily routine. I love, oh, look at the colors. Beautiful, yeah. Laura. Yeah. Beautiful. Can you just, just for everybody, because I'm so drawn to the one that says purpose. Can you read what purpose says? Oh, purpose. Live a life of purpose by bringing consciousness and intention to everyday actions. Your emotions are indicators of what you want in your life. I love that. I'm so excited about these cards. So will you do me the favor? Will you let me know when they come out? And then I'll announce it on Facebook. Okay. I'll announce it on Facebook. Um, I want... I. You know, I want to um, honor your time, but thank you for being here, guys. I'm going to do a, a quick guided meditation after this. So if you guys want to stay on, you could stay on for the quick meditation. Trust me, it'll be quick. And um, and uh, then um, I may or may not. It depends on how tired I am. I might do a quick TikTok afterwards, but I'm going to eat then do a quick TikTok because I, I like to... Um, I wish I could have showed you guys when it was light out. I am right, like, looking at the water. Oh, it is so, um, you can't really see, oh, God, you can't really see it. Um, oh, it's no, dark out there. See. Yeah. yeah, but, oh, maybe you can, like, over here, that is all water. Oh, um, but you can see the reflection of the room, yeah. but it's all water. Um, oh, and guys, you see, isn't that a, uh, maybe you can't see it, hang on. See the ring light? Isn't that cute? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The little round, round ring light? That's me. Okay. Um, it clips on right to the um, right to the computer, which is awesome. Nice. Um, all right. Uh, so, guys, if you want to, please visit Laura. You can visit her at littleaspenstudios.com or um, on Facebook, which is uh, Little Aspen Studios. Uh, same thing. Um there's just so much that you do, Laura, and oh, thanks, please thanks, continue man. to do all that you do. Um, do you have time to, do you want to stay on or do you have yeah, to go? I'm stay on, yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah. All right, and guys, so sorry. Um, I'm going, I hope you can hear this because we're going to do it through the phone. So um, staying on for meditation now? Yeah, we're staying on for meditation. Mm -hmm. um, Jody says, how wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Um Okay, let me just get this all plugged up, guys, on here. I had to be at the airport, Laura, at 4 o'clock in the morning. Jeez. Because it was a 6 o'clock flight from... That's a lot. Drive. I'm only like 20 minutes from to Portland, Oregon. So Portland, Oregon. Then we had to fly to Seattle. We waited 45 minutes and then flew from one corner, you guys, of the... Uh, of the United States all the way down to Florida. And that was a, it was a five and a half hour trip, but it was, and then the man couldn't find me from the hotel and the shuttle bus couldn't find me. I'm like, I'm a short Greek man with a blue um, Captain America shirt on. And my luggage has a bunch of stop signs and yield signs all over it. You can't miss it. So um uh, hi, Sue. No problem. No problem. All right. Let's do this. I'm going to do the uh, let me know, Laura, if you can hear the music. OK. Um, there we go. OK, I see the music. Yes, everybody. I see it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you can hear it, okay? I'm gonna put it right there. Okay.
That's not it. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah. Okay, okay. everyone. Take a nice breath in. And slowly exhale out. And as you take another breath in, and you close your eyes, I want you to place your hand on the center of your chest. Feel the warmth of your hand on the center of your chest. Keeping your hand here for more than 12 seconds is an equivalent to the feeling that you get when you are hugged. Hugging yourself, loving yourself, nurturing yourself. And imagine, if you will, that you are sinking into your heart, following the emotions, the rivers of your heart, the fluidity of your heart strings. And imagine, if you will, that each day, each hour, each moment, you speak to that heart with kindness. You play the heart strings to feed it, to nurture it. <laughs> to say that you are good, that you are whole, that you are creative. Imagine how your heart grows, feels full because you've treated it like you would treat your best friend. You've spoken to it like you would speak to your best friend. Nurture this energy. And when your head touches the pillow tonight, allow yourself to go into a deep slumber, knowing that you are more than enough that you are limitless and that you are creative. Ask for the support that you need. And when you wake up in the morning, give gratitude before your feet touch the bed, the floor rather, and feel that energy. Getting out of bed, saying, a gratitude, feet on the floor, stepping into gratitude. The moment you wake up, you step into gratitude. And gratitude will bring those aha moments. And those aha moments will bring a, oh, wow. And that, oh, wow, is going to bring something special for you. And then you, will inspire others to do the same. Take a nice breath in and slowly come back to the here and now. <sighs> Sorry, I stopped the music abruptly, guys. Sorry about that. So um, I hope you guys have a beautiful evening. Please stay tuned check in when I'm going to be live. I, I might do something tomorrow live to show you the hotel and show you the yeah. Pink Sands Resort and the Pink Sands. And um, again, Laura, thank you so much for oh, being thank here. Thank you, Elias. Yeah. And let me know when, um, yeah. I'll, I'll call you when I get back, but let me know when yeah. the cards come in because yeah. I want to announce them and show them off and really yeah. um, support you in, in the, the beautiful oh, yeah. work that you do. Yeah. 
So everyone, thank you. And as always, like we say on here, we are here to connect. Mm -hmm. When we connect, we educate one another. And when we educate, we grow. There is unity in community. From my heart to yours, thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful night. Laura, hang on one second.